Hey everyone, this is Sahara Rose from Sahara Rose Travels and the founder of the Travel Coach Network. Today I wanted to do a quick video talking about digital nomads, what it means to be one and how you can become one. So you may have heard this word talked about or mentioned or came across it online at some point. So today I just wanted to talk about what exactly it is to be a digital nomad and how you can become one. So a digital nomad is basically just anybody who works from their computer and enabling you to then be able to work from anywhere in the world. Um, so some ways that you can become a digital nomad, I break it down into two kind of categories. And one is to work for someone else and then two is to work for yourself. So what does that all mean? So one, to work for yourself as, or to work for someone else, sorry, as a digital nomad, you can um, most commonly is, be, is to do freelance work. So freelance work is uh, it's pretty broad. Um, it's just taking whatever skill, um, ability, or interest that you have. So some ways to do freelance work as a digital nomad would be to, um, like, if you like computers, you could do computer programming or web design or graphic design, uh, social media management, uh, VA work, which is quite common, which is our, um, virtual assistant work. So if you're good at organizing or data entry um, or pretty much like what office assistants would do, you can do that online as a virtual assistant. That's quite uh, popular these days. Um, if you're a photographer, you can do uh, photography. Um, some other ways to do um, digital nomad or freelance work is to be uh, a blogger or a writer um, or a video uh, vlogger um, to do um, videos or blog on um, like YouTube and stuff. So you could be a translator, you could be a, a, a teacher. So if you teach English or another language, you can find clients online that you can teach these to. Um, so whatever work that you do online or whatever skill that you have, you can find work um, to be a digital nomad. So some of the places that you can find jobs like this would be on websites like upwork.com or workaway. So on the first link that I posted in the body of this video, I uh, um, have a direct link to some uh, links that I have used or that um, my friends have used to find digital nomad freelance work. Um, and then uh, if you don't have, if you feel like you, ca you can't do any of these jobs, you don't have any of these skills, it's not quite true. So there's so many courses and webinars or YouTube tutorials, videos that you can watch to learn new skills. So uh, for instance, if you're really good at um, Pinterest and you um, really work on getting better at it. There's a lot of companies who are looking to hire someone to like just grow their Pinterest um, audience or just grow their Instagram audience or their Facebook audience. So if you're really good at any of these things, there's work out there for you to do. There's so many companies looking to hire people online to do work for in many realms. You can write reviews for companies. You can um, write content or articles or do um, editing or copywriting. Um, so there's so much opportunity out there to work as a digital nomad and therefore you're able to work from anywhere in the world um, just because um, you uh, um, can work on your own time and um, then for two is to work for a company so how do you do this so it, there's so many companies now looking to hire someone who they can just um, give a task to or project to and they can work from their home or their computer so ultimately allowing you to work from anywhere that you want to and um, uh, so if you have a company in mind or a position in mind, and it could be a typical brick and mortar office type of company that people actually go to work to, you can email them or message them and you can ask them, um, are you offering any positions or is there any opportunities that I can work from um, my computer or work from anywhere else to do projects or to work for you? Or is there a time frame that here you are allowing people to do this? And so there's a lot of jobs who are um, offering these kind of opportunities just because it's a big, um, it's like a trend these days. A lot of people want to be able to work from anywhere in the world. They want to be able to have the freedom uh, financially, um, spiritually, time, and um, to work from um, wherever they would like to work from. Um, traveling is a big thing also within the digital nomad world. So a lot of time, a lot of reasons people want to find digital nomad work is because they want to um, be able to travel as well. But that's not, you don't have to be a traveler in order to want to be a digital nomad. You can just work from your own home as well. Um, so then two is to working for yourself. So how can you work for yourself and be a digital nomad? So that's 
basically it's just becoming a business owner of your own and that could be in many different ways so to be a business owner of your own or a business owner for yourself um you can just optimize on whatever skill you did in that freelance work or whatever that you're learning to do as a freelancer and instead of then taking projects or working for someone else or working for that hourly wage that they're giving you or that set price for that project, you create your own uh, prices. You set your own standards for uh, what you want for your value and for what you're offering in your skills. So for instance, let's say that I'm um, a virtual assistant and I used to just take $12 an hour working online for people, but now I've created my own virtual assistant company and I set my price at X amount and people looking for virtual assistants uh, by my marketing or my, my referrals or however they may have found me through previous clients or whatnot, they come to me and offer, um, want me to work for them and they're willing to pay my prices. Um, another way to become a business owner online is to um, be a coach. So the coaching industry is booming. So that's another way to be a digital nomad is just to um, have to do some online coaching for people, whatever your specialty is, but you can take that to the next step and you can create online courses or a program or one-on-one -on -one private coaching sessions and become a, an online coach. And you can do a spiritual coach, fitness coach, life coach, um, financial coach, any business coach, any of these that uh, suit you. But what I what I do and what I love is to become a, uh, this is travel coaching. Um, so that's why I, am, uh, I started the Travel Coach Network. It's a network on a community that brings together people who are interested in helping others do what they have done and transform their life through the traveling that they've done. So for instance, what does that all mean? So let's say that you're a travel blogger and you've um, your specialty is either budget travel or family travel or couples or you're a couple or a person in your 50s or 60s who likes to travel and you blog about this or you're a photographer or venture travel, whatever your niche or specialty is that you like to talk about. So instead of a travel blogger taking um, making money from their blog by putting out ads or getting sponsors or um, affiliate marketing, they... Um, which ultimately you're just growing someone else's brand and business when you do stuff like that. So you, what you do is you take your platform, you take what you've already established, your content that you already have, you obviously have a passion for travel, you have a passion and love for whatever you write about, you talk about, and you share with others, and you turn that and you create a course or multiple courses or a signature program, and you then teach others how to um, do whatever you've done in your life that transformed your life that made you the happiest that you are in whatever you talk about in your blog. Um, you could do this as a social media influencer. You could do it as a travel agent. You could take what you've already established in your experience and your expertise and your knowledge and your skills, and you can become a travel coach. You can empower, inspire, and teach others to transform their lives through travel, just like travel has done for you. Um, and then that way, by creating courses or a program, you have a passive income. And what that what that basically means is that you make money while you sleep. You can uh, launch and relaunch and sell and resell your products that you've created. Um, and so if you're interested in learning more, hearing more about becoming a travel coach or what it entails, or even uh, digital nomad life in general, um, visit my website, thetravelcoachnetwork.com, or my website, saharosetravels.com, um, where I can uh, I, I tell you so much more about all of it. I'm happy and excited to share all this with you guys. If you have any questions about anything in the travel industry, please reach out and let me know. Um, and thanks so much for everyone who watched and who's been watching my videos. If you have any questions about anything at all, feel free to contact me either through Facebook or my website, my social media. I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks, everybody.